There, it works. Can you hear me now? Huh? I can totally hear you. Your camera looks good. Oh, bad. darn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. So, so two weeks, now we're back, uh, which is awesome. Did you enjoy your two weeks? Has it been? I did, actually. I've been really busy. Busier than ever here, too. I know. Yeah. Well, you got the you got the family stuff going on with you, so which is very cool. Yeah, it's 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 cool, but it's it's taxing because my my wife's now working in the morning, so now I got to take the kids in the morning, so I got to get up early, um, do that, and then work all day, and then the kids come home, and then bedtime. Man, life has changed, and events are nuts. Yeah, the events the events lately have been crazy for me. Um, so much so that I've actually been white labeling out to quite a few other people over the past uh, couple of weeks. Yeah, and I had, and as you know, I've got another company, um, event company in Philadelphia that asked me to white label out, and I can't handle it all. So yeah. I got to other people to help them. Seems like there's a lot of white labeling going on, more than we've ever seen. Yep. Um, but there's also a lot of more people getting into the business, but still, you know, it is what it is. There's a lots of events out there and, uh, yeah, we've been, uh, we've been adding a lot of people into, uh, the photo booth network and I've been seeing a lot more, um, in the photo booth community too. So, which is really good. It's grown. Um, it's just so much easier to get into the business. I think more now so more than ever. Um, I've been helping a few people out get, you know, them started in mm -hmm. the industry as well. And it's like, it, it, it's a learning curve and it's expensive still. Cause you think about, you, you're going to buy a photo booth, you know, whatever the price is, but there's everything else that comes with it. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I, I was just recently chatting with a gentleman from our area, believe it or not, that is getting into the photo booth business. His name is Bernard. Um, oh, cool. and very nice guy and uh we talked about different booths and things like that and uh so he was getting himself squared away on everything and and that was very cool to uh to see so it's it's nice that uh you know i still i still get to do some consulting here and there uh -huh. i guess some people trust me for knowledge i, I guess i don't know why I, yeah i don't know why either it's crazy Oh man, no, you're awesome. I mean, you're the first person I went to when I wanted to learn. So thanks to you. Um, oh, so you're blaming, putting it all on me. I see how it is. Okay. Oh, somebody has a question. Somebody has a question. Yeah. So what is exact? What is light white labeling? Mm -hmm. So white labeling is where you're doing an event for another company. This is the the basics. You're doing an event for another company under their name um, without any of your branding or any knowledge that it is actually you that is doing it. You were yes. doing it for them, by them, all the above. Yeah. And it, um, all the way to when, you know, the guest asks for a business card, you're not handing your business card, you're handing the person your correct hired you their business card. None correct. of your shirts have your own late uh lab, um logo on it you've got their stuff branding yep none of your you, there is none of your own branding at that event it is all for the company that you were doing the white label for yep that's it that's and, and if you want to uh well someone said i'm the best thanks for my help hmm. He's the best i'm sorry around <laughs> um listen that it I started the photo booth network and, and people have heard me say this a million times. I, I believe in community over competition. And I think that helping anybody who has a question to answer them, to help them grow is what it's all about. Yeah. You know, can, right. Cause we all have 20, there's only 24 hours a day. We got stuff, but right. you can only help so many people at all. And I, I've got, I've yep. been getting calls like, but I, I've got dinner or something like that. I'm cooking. I'm like, I can't answer the phone right now. I'll get back mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and 
listen, when I, when I first started, I used to take calls from all over the world. People would call me. I mean, there were times where I'd get a phone call from someone that would speak a completely different language and, <laughs> you know, believe it or not, I, I actually used Google Translate for someone once. Oh, wow. Um, and it was like a beta version of Google Translate and it worked. You know, we were able to somewhat communicate enough that, you know, I could answer his questions and, and he understood what I was trying to say. And so it, it is kind of cool. Yeah. No, it's, it, it, right now, that's it, it, even a couple of weeks. Or was it a week now? Uh, Photo Booth Expo Europe is going to be going on. Um, I think that's next next week, I think. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it's next, next week. So this stuff is which all we over should. the world. Yeah. Well, it's nice that it's expanding the way it is. You know, you had uh, uh, the convention in uh, Australia, uh -huh. which was awesome. And I, I, I apologize because I've always wanted to go there, but I just was not able to, since, you know, I am kind of a, I don't make anything or sell anything. So, you know, it's, and it's expensive to go to Australia from what I found out. Um, I was looking for sponsors, but you know, nobody wants to sponsor me. So <laughs> in case anybody does want to sponsor me in the future, I will travel just yeah. so you know, and uh, promote the shit out of your product. Um, cause I'm not cheap. Yes, I am cheap. No. I can't, I can't go because I'm allergic to water going down the toilet in the opposite direction. Yeah. Well, uh, that's, I, I'd be watching it go like this. Yeah. <laughs> Break your neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maybe like, uh, Mr. Stevenson, uh, we have an excessive water water uh, sensor alert from coming from your room because I just flush <laughs> it just to watch it go down, you know, the opposite way. Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, we've got um, a few topics we're going to hit on tonight, uh, one of which is, I think BOAs, did they ever really go away? I guess in COVID, they sort of did, but there's been a lot of chatter on BOAs yeah. lately. Yeah, so. yeah. there's been a lot of discussion on them, um, the different types of BOAs. Uh, you know, you have the, the cheap ones that have uh, like turkey feathers or whatever in there, and yeah. then you have your... Those are the cheap ones are the ones that are going to get you like banned from venues. <laughs> Listen, I've let, left many a colored stain on a carpet because of, <laughs> you know, boas and somebody <laughs> spilling a drink and the ink or the dye from the, the feathers getting onto the, the carpet. I yeah. actually had to pay, uh, reimburse a uh, caterer for, uh, for that. Yeah, let me get you on the screen. I think, I think it's worth having you on there, right? There it is. Oh, oh, there we go. Hi, hey. I'm Dave. Welcome back, Dave. Um, so somebody in the in the Photo Booth Network actually commented, like, where do we get boas? And then a lot of people chimed in. Um, but one specific person sent to this site here, which is like the real deal boas, and they said ostrich and turkey are yeah. less susceptible to shedding. I guess. I mean, they they definitely they do have a very like luxurious feel to them. Yeah. Um, and they are very poofy and fluffy. Um, but look at the truthfully, what's that? So look at the prices on these. Some of like one of them is one hundred and ninety six bucks. Yep. For one. Now that concerns right. me because people walk away with stuff. No, no, I, I, I keep an eye. I've always myself, I've trained my staff that, you know, we always keep an eye on that stuff. Uh -huh. And there's many times where, you know, someone will start to walk away and you, you know, you got to stop them and politely say, Hey, can I have, uh, can I have that back? And then they're like, Oh my God, I, I'm so sorry. I forgot. I didn't realize. Yeah. I understand you. You're drunk. It's okay. It's, it's going to happen though. Like, as much as you want to police it, you're going to get the one person mm -hmm. that has now made it their mission. And I've had this happen. They've made it their mm -hmm. mission because they've had way too many drinks and they think they're cool. They're going to stuff yeah. it down their pants and try and walk out with it. And you're not, you can't, it's like, you mm -hmm. don't see it on them. It's literally down their pants. I've seen that. And I'm like, dude, come on. I, I've actually had people buy props from me at events, like wow. a hat or glasses or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they'll 
dude, I'll give you 20 bucks. No, I'll give you 40 bucks. No, I'll give you 50 bucks. Okay. You can have that, that, that $2 pair of glasses that I bought for $50. Yeah. (laughs) You know, and a lot of the stuff I get, I get. So at the end of Halloween, I, I raid the crap out of, uh, the Halloween store, the spirit stores here in the U.S. Because I know we have people in other countries that that watch this. Why I have no idea. Um, but uh, you know that's where I get a lot of my 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 props and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna um I haven't done it probably since before COVID. I'm I'm gonna go to the the Halloween stores after Halloween and and really check it out. Um. I think it's time to get creative again now that I feel safer about, you know, putting some more wearables. So these um, are the ones that there's a, a ton of places you can get these. These are the featherless boas and also hyperallergenic. Yep. Like, you don't, there's no allergies. Like some people may have allergies, I think, to ostrich and turkey, possibly. I don't know. Maybe. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but these are not. Well, I don't think I don't think it's necessarily that. I think it's more the dye. OK, I think than it is the actual, you know, feathers themselves. Um, you know, because they're using, you know, almost like a food dye um, kind of on those because of it being, you know, a, a, a feather. Right. You know, a, a biodegradable or, bi, you know, bio whatever. Whatever it is, it's coming off. Yeah. So I'm gonna, exactly. I'm going to out at the Halloween stores at the end of the season. Just to yep. check out the quality, and I'm actually going to like start talking at them and see how well it's coming out. Mm-hmm. The only thing about these that I, I I have an issue with is, you guys can see, they're basically loops. This is like yep, um, yep. And all too often, these get snagged on earrings, necklaces, mm-hmm. buttons, hair, ears, you name it. That's the issue. That's it. So yep. Well, I mean, and the thing I do when that happens is I just snap the loop, you know, to to free up whatever whatever is caught yeah. in it. Yeah, you so. know, you can always take a pair of scissors and kind of snip it so it doesn't look too too goofy. Mm-hmm. So it it's not too bad. And you should have scissors. And with- that should that should be in your emergency kit, which we went over a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago. We did. If anyone's wondering. And speaking look. of emergency kit, um, we have a third person to add to this party here. So bye, Dave. Just kidding. I'm bringing you back. And we have Mr. Emergency Kit himself. Mr. Rex is joining us. Boom. What's up? There what he is. Up? What a great segue. Because we were talking about the, the boas and we were just talking about the ways to get these off of earrings. And he's, we talked about ripping them and then scissors. And then your emergency kit brought, got, got brought up, which was in your last video that you just did. Oh, you watched it. Thank you. Yeah. I know you're a big yes, guy. We, you guys we, 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 we were the two so people that watched your video, Rex. Thank you. I was wondering where those two views came from. <laughs> no, I watched it twice. Dave's lying. <laughs> I don't think it works like that, does it? You have no. a YouTube channel. Do, does it really count as two views, same person, watch it twice? You just got to log in with a different username. Okay. Now I know the secret. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just create 5,000 unique email addresses and set up an account with all 5,000 and you could really get yourself ahead. Nice. Oh. nice. Ed's watching I, I like it. Your, three. I like your booth hustle too, Dave. Right? What's you, that? You sell ten, ten, I like your booth hustle as well. You sell 10 more of those uh, glasses for 50 bucks. You had an airplane ticket to, to uh, Australia. That's a lot more than that. Trust me. It's a lot more than that. (laughs) But I I was seriously considering going to the the one over in the UK this year. And you're not going to go. I wanted to go too. I think I'm going to try and go next year. But I, I have too many events over the next two weeks that, you know. I just can't really free up for. Well, I yeah. could free up. I, I mean, I have I have people that can them run the events, but you can white label your white labels. 
I can white label my white labels. Well, I have staff too, so yeah. you know. What does a plane ticket to UK go for now? A couple grand? Um, no, no. You're looking at nice. a few hundred dollars. What? Yep. Yeah, that's not bad. But you know, it's New a- York, New York to UK is only like five hundred bucks. Um, hold on, I'll tell you in a second. If you're in luggage. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see. It's wondering. If I wanted to go, let's see what we got. Uh, do, 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 do. Doing my super secret travel search that I have. And... It's finding me my best best deals. Uh, around six six fifty. That's not bad at all. No, not bad. Round round trip what, from what Philadelphia. Well, that would be from Philly to, to uh, Vegas, though. Yeah. What's that? What would what would you expect to see that you wouldn't see in Vegas? Different accents. Um, <laughs> still English. Now the, no, there's okay. there's different. I, believe it or not, there's a, the enclosed booths are very popular over overseas yet. Hmm. Okay. So, from from what I've gathered, um, but I mean, the, a lot of the the same manufacturers are are right. going to be from the U.S. and China. Like Breeze, Breeze is out there. I think that's well, a cr- cr- quick trip Chris for is those based- guys. You know, Chris is based, you know, over there. Um, the right? there. And you have uh, photo booth marketing. So I'm sure Sam and Ursula and George and all those guys will be there. Uh, booth book. You know, yeah. so there's 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 a really good UK presence for the industry that's already over there. A shorter flight I think Zentech. Tony's out there, too, right? Yeah. Tony with uh, yeah. the ninja. Yep. Yeah. He's out there. So that's that's going to be a good show for them. Happy for them. It's a good show for Rob, it, actually. It's it's growing qu- quite a bit from what I what I've been hearing and what I've been seeing over the past couple of years. Um, it's been re- doing really well. Mm, do you, do you think it's like that all over Europe, France, Italy? They all have photo boothers. Oh yeah, Poland. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, I I remember, you know, we from day one, from the very first expo, um, I remember, you know, people meeting people from all over the world. You know, so it there is quite a bit. Well, yeah, and you even I have think there's some Sweden, right? Yep. Uh, Sweden, Germany. Um, yeah. you know, France. Yeah. I mean, they're all over There's, there's a couple really big people, um, from Dubai also. Is that Europe? That's Middle East, isn't it? Yeah, it's Middle East, but you know, still that general, you know, vert or location, you know, you got Middle East and, and, uh, and Europe. The EU area, um, you know. I know I've met a few people from uh, like Greece and Italy. Oh, uh, wow. I actually did did some consulting with a gentleman from uh, from Italy that uh, bought a uh, like a minibus over there and and started doing like the minibus type ones. Yeah. So. Yes. Oh, actually, those three major. I think uh, I've seen and met boosters from Spain. Spain and uh italy uh germany and france i think those those are four four major ones yeah you know so yep. def- i don't know i've never met anybody from ireland um i'm looking at this out there yeah i'm looking at the yeah. site and i'll share this here real quick i do not see photo booth marketing there at all which is odd wow they- I mean, they're right there. Why wouldn't they go? 
Yeah, you never know. They could just bust through the doors with a marching band. You just never Probably. know. Probably. That's, that's their style. Yeah, right? It's like, yeah, we have a special guest, and here they come, you know, barging through the doors, marching band and all. So with you never theme, know. In slow motion with theme music and, like, craziness. <laughs> I mean, they're creative. That's why they are yeah, who they are. Sammy would, would make that happen in a second, I'm sure. His videos are freaking awesome. Oh, it's hometown. Yeah. He might come in on a helicopter. It might be a train. Who knows? Oh, the parachute in. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what antics they have, uh, you know, planned for this year. Oh, my God. So. Um, so Rex, yes. WCM Plus. Yes, glad Tell you brought that it. up. I got two items to you, just in case I forget. The WCM Plus and the Buy, Sell, Trade. So don't let me forget to plug those on my way out. What's Let's talk uh, WCM Plus. What do you want to know? All right, so I'm showing the screen here. I'm going to take my picture off and put you on because you're so much cooler. Hold on. All right, this is it here. This is no, the I like the picture. We could talk about it with the picture. That's much more interesting. It, yeah, well, it's but right do here. Do you have one? No, I don't. Are they no. out or is it, is it just pre-released? Um, yeah, I've touched it. I've touched, let's just say I've touched it and um, I've played with it. And uh, yeah, man. <laughs> no, wait, you are talking about the WCM Plus, right? Uh, I, we, you know, we do have to keep this PG here. <laughs> uh, well, and so this is for for those that don't know what this is. This is um, a module that allows you to print wirelessly from DNP with their products. This is the latest one they're coming out with. So, so what 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 is the difference between this and like the the two that that was out and and that stuff? Yeah, so I, I am very intimate with it, and I'm not talking about your boa boa there uh -huh. art. Uh, you just keep your boas and your handcuffs to yourself. Um, I, I just did a um, a video doing comparison between. WCM2 and WCM3 and it there, you know there there wasn't much um much there in terms of speed and I think that's what everybody's looking for the form factor was the same so really WCM2 to 3 was really just a um a firmware update to be honest with you yeah but the one thing that they've always had going for them is the back end so that hasn't changed if you're familiar with the the back end the settings page uh it looks fantastic it moves very fast but the limitation has always been the hardware so now finally finally the hardware has changed and and that's what's giving giving the uh wcm plus life it is absolutely amazing. Yeah. I think that's the, the saving grace that everybody was was waiting and looking for. And uh, I believe that they wanted to just to get it just right. And uh, I, I truly think they have. So. Are they available now to buy? Do we know? Uh, I, well, that's a good question. I, I do. Uh, I believe. Let's start with the, the price point. I'm pretty uh, amazed at the price point. Just go ahead and take a guess. What do you guys think it is? 180. Yeah, pretty close. One, 199. 199. And, um, that's that's, that's great. Yeah, they've been able to uh, increase the speed phenomenally and, uh, and without much change to the price and i think part of the reason is because they have the software or the app developed already uh -huh. but the um the bottleneck was always in in the hardware and now that they have all new hardware it's to been totally revamped in terms of connectivity and stability and speed 
uh, yeah, I, I think it's it's a game changer for sure, for sure. Well, I, I definitely, I mean, I, I don't mind the WCM two. I mean, it's it's there for me in a pinch when I really need it. And the one thing, the reason why I didn't always go with it, and instead I'm going with the Surface Go laptop, is because of the speed. I, I, I couldn't wait 20 seconds for it just to process the picture and then start printing. That was just too, too much. Oh, of a oh yeah. It's it's way, way faster than that. Way faster. The only, the only reason I'm not giving any details is because I'm actually on my way to the studio right now. And that video will come out tomorrow. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to hold you to that. Dave, it's coming out tomorrow. I'm posting it. <laughs> All right. So okay. premiering on Photo Booth Network. Yeah, let me go to YouTube real quick because I want to show everybody where they're going to find this video. Hopefully, we won't hold you to it because you know you got some editing to do. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna do a video on the WCM Plus, right? Plus, yeah, absolutely. I'm that I'm that excited about it. Um, yeah, like I just you know got it in the mail today, and uh, I tested it, and I was pretty blown away by it. So. Uh, I can't. I can't wait to to record and and drop it tomorrow. It's gonna yeah. happen. Even yeah. I have to stay up the whole night. I, you know, it's like uh, cramming for a test. So I'm gonna record, edit, and drop it tomorrow. That is my goal. Awesome. See? Now, now I said it on your show, so and it's gotta happen. And Go here's the it. here's your channel, so everybody watching can see. Uh, it's on YouTube. Just search Rex Photo Booth. You'll find it. And this is where all of your, your cool videos are, including the recent ones you did with. Uh, uh, you'll be able to find the uh, WCM2 versus uh, WCM3 video there. But tomorrow or tonight, well, tomorrow it'll be uh, WCM3 versus WCM+. Plus. Oh, man. That's, yeah. that's awesome. I think that's, I think that's the title. Yeah. Or um, Game Changer, maybe. Not sure. I hope so. I, re I really hope so. And I'm and very thankful that you do all these videos. Um, I got to, you know, I've been backlogged. I told you privately, I just, we're so busy. So I got to update our site with your Rex's Corner videos. So I'll, I'll be putting that on there as well. Get you as much exposure as you possibly can because your videos are valuable. You do a lot of legwork and research for us without us having us to go buy the crap. Yeah, that's why you let me on your show. It's so I can share. And that's why you let me post on your page. You know, Photo Booth Magazine. That's it. That's, we that's what it is. Here I thought it was because you were so damn sexy. But I guess I guess that's because of the content you share. Yeah, I'm fortunately not sexy. And, uh, you know, nobody offers me 50 bucks for anything. So. Well, that, that, makes, that makes three of us. So, you know. Yeah. You know, I like that boa art. Where did you, where did you get the boa? Is that uh, from a new sponsor? Um, of the show. I got this from Van Halen and uh, concert. Uh, no, um, I got this from PB, PB backdrops uh, right before COVID. Oh yeah, sponsor. Spon are they a sponsor of the show? No, no, no. not at all. Oh, okay. They can be if they want to be, though. You know, because we're we're not above that anymore. <laughs> there are a we lot of places. Boas. There are a lot of places yeah. you can buy them, but that's that's where I, I originally purchased them from. Yeah, I think they were one of the first to come out with the feathers. Uh, actually, walk those. They don't shed. They don't yeah, they, um, they were. But I think, you know, after a while, they do kind of look worn or stinky. But yep. you can always wash them, which is kind of cool. Yeah, you got to wash them in, like, cool water with light soap and hang them to dry or my, or dry in a, a soft cycle. But I didn't know that in the beginning when I first got them. It was like a year before I washed them and I, I soaked them in water. The water was black. Like, yeah, I can't have that. Disgusting. What did I know? I, I had no idea what I was PB doing. Drag, backdrops. Have either one of you washed the PB backdrops stretch fabric ones? The, I, the pillow backdrops or the tension backdrops? No, not me. I mean, I haven't needed to yet. I'm very careful with them. Yeah, I am too, but sometimes the white just gets dirty. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Oh, it must be all that wine. All that wine Dave was spilling. That's uh, getting my pillow tops dirty. 
Yeah. Listen, I, I, I've had a couple people spill, um, and believe it or not, OxyClean worked really well on getting out the stain. Like, what, what is the process? Do you just spray it, or do you dip it? Uh, I, I actually kind of made like a paste. When I got it home, I made like a paste of the OxyClean and, and let it sit there for, I want to say, maybe 20, 30 minutes. And then just rinsed it and then threw it in the washer and everything. It's, you couldn't even tell that there was a stain. So you did wash it and you just yeah. wash it in cold and, and, and yep. then, um, you know. I didn't put it in a dryer. I air dry, dry it. But you do put it in the I, dryer. What's that? I said you do put it in the dryer. No, I air dry mine. No. Oh, Eric, I actually, got it. yeah, well, actually I'll, what I do is I set up the stand and put it on the stand and let it dry on the stand. Uh, like in your garage or outdoors? Yep. Well, if it's warm out, I do it out outdoors. We have like a, like a patio. For how long? Till it's dry. Could be 15 minutes, could be an hour and a half. Oh, that's not bad. No. Yeah, I like that idea. Right. And then do you have to go back and wipe down the frame because it's wet or no? Not a big deal. No. No, yeah, I mean it pretty much the the it's the frame's dry because the moisture is only really on on the seams. And with the air blowing it it pretty much, you know, dries that out too. So It is. So you did another video on the uh, audio guest books, Rex. Yeah, they, aren't they a sponsor of the show? Audio guest book sponsor of the show, Dave. Art? No, nope. not a sponsor of the show. But I, I did get oh, one. He, he was on. He was on the show. He was on the show. That is correct. Fantastic. Yeah. How's that working out for you? Pretty good. It's it's starting to pick up. I think. Um, not a whole lot of people knew in my area what the thing was. I knew a couple people, but really, yeah, wow. it's, just, it's just it's just starting to pick up now. Um, so now I think probably like twenty five percent of my events have an audio guest book attached to it. Yeah, it'll get it'll get more. Awesome. Yeah, it, I, it, I did a video it, too. It's been a nice it's been a nice upsell. That's for sure. Yeah, and what's the um. What's the price? What's the, like the market price uh, by itself? And then what's the market price when you package it with like your photo booth or your DJ? Well, I package it with my photo booth and DJ. I'm kind of, I'm trying to throw it in for like 199, but by itself, I, yeah. 300, 300. And that's, that's, just, that's dropped off, delivered and then picked up or they have to mail it back to you. Oh what no, it's, it's, it's either picked up. Well, one I met in a parking lot. <laughs> Um, but the others are just dropped off the venue and picked up. But it was safe. It, it was a Philadelphia cult, uh, police officer that that rented it, so I knew I was I was safe. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I, I did a video. I got the the Gen Three. You did a video with the Gen Two, right? Uh, I oh, I did it with both. I had a Gen Two. I originally had the Gen Two. I thought the battery on it sucked, but the price was good. And uh, the Gen Three, the battery, the clarity, way way better. Way did you better. did yours have the on off button? Uh, on Gen Three, yes. On the yeah. Gen Two, no. So the battery would always die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, just, the on and off button is huge. Yeah, totally huge. Um, and the cases are, are really cool. So you can, for those watching again, you can watch Rex's video. You can watch our video. It's on our channel. But we. Did the audio guest book direct one. That's the one that I went with. Um, that's these guys here. And what's cool is they come with a bag. That's what I really liked about it. I didn't have to go out and shop for one. Yeah, it comes with a bat padded bag. It comes with all the accessories. Has the um, is it called L angle? 90, 90 degree angle. Um, yes. A plug. So when you plug it in underneath, it fits perfectly so you know it's not sticking out and it'll snap in there that would be an absolute nightmare and uh it's also the same cable you use for 
communication if you want to connect it to your uh, Windows PC or your your Mac to to unload the files. That's also how we um, upload the outgoing greeting. But I wanted to know from you guys, you know, because you guys DJ as well, is what is a good um, MP MA4 to MP3 converter? Because I have clients recorded on their iPhones, send it to me, but it's not in MP3 format, so I need to always convert the file. There's, 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 there's so many really good ones that are out there for free. Um, if you go to, a, if you go to uh, the website download, download.com, um, I think there's one called MP3 Converter. Uh -huh. Um. It, and it's it's a freeware program, and it, it's really good. You can convert from a lot of different uh, formats to MP3. For Windows only or Mac as well? I only use it for Windows, so I don't know if there is a Mac. I think there is one. Okay. What's another one? Ed Altunian saying convert with VLS or Handbrake. Ah, uh, so yeah. VLS, v, VLS is, is, is one. And uh, Handbrake, Handbrake, I think, is also a freeware program, or it was at one point in time. I don't know if it is anymore. But that you can use Handbrake on uh, on the Macs, I believe. Yeah, oh, Handbrake is fantastic. I use it for yep. video all the time. Yeah, okay. Yep. I like that one. So all the outgoing messages and incoming are MP3. Uh, MP3, as a player, when my clients ask me, uh, I tell them... Um, like VLC is a good player. It's free. Um, mm -hmm. What else? What do you guys use to play back the MP3s? I'm using SoundCloud right now. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's free. You can upload, make a playlist, add a picture to it. They can download the tracks off of there. They can put the, the app on their phone. Um, but there's, there's a limit to the free, though. Like, you, you only get so many like tracks you can put on your account before you have to start paying per month, which is fine. And that was, that's why I did it. Cause I was like, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't want to start paying a ton of money up front for a service. If, if it doesn't go well, but it's starting to build. So now I'm at the point where, all right, now I'm looking for something good. Like that, that is going to be more permanent. Um, so SoundCloud, is there's Napster still free. <laughs> is Napster Right. Is Napster still available? I, I wish. I loved Napster. Napster was awesome. <laughs> um, but Audio Guestbook Direct is coming out with an app. So, oh, they're coming out with their own app. Wow. Yeah, they're coming out with their own app. There's uh, some extra bells and whistles apparently to it. I don't know what they are. We're going to find out, but it should be coming out any week now. So. It'd be neat if someone could come up with uh, like a, a program that you could share and then uh, download like via QR code or something like, you know, how MediaShare or BleepShare has, has you can do the videos, uh -huh. um, something like that. But, you know, it, it watch the folder and then create a, a, a QR code for that file, which should be pretty simple, I would think. I think one of the one of the other companies does something like that, where the the calls are being um, recorded and automatically shot up to something. I think I think that was either at the beep or it was retro. I think it was at the beep. Was it at the beep? Yeah. yeah. So I think it's. I'll, I'll double check. We did a video on that at PBX. I got to rewatch that video. I think right. we talked about how that works. Since they've got an app as well. So where do you guys um, when? How do you give your uh, MP3 files to your clients? I do a Dropbox link of all the files. I like the Dropbox. Yeah. I like the Dropbox. Yeah. I do Google Drive, so it's very similar, just online folder. Yeah. So I do when I, because that's how I, I deliver the photos from the photo booth to uh, my customers too, um, via Dropbox. And I just, I sub, that's just a basic subscription. Um, I think it's for like a terabyte, maybe. Yeah. And I let everything, I tell them I, everything stays there for a month. And then after a month, I pull it down. Do you back it up still or no? Oh, yeah. Every, every, all, all of my events, 
since day one are stored on external hard drives. I've got uh, probably close to 100 terabytes worth of uh, storage um, awesome. between all the different drives I have. So you have like 52 terabyte drives, something like that? Uh, I have here. a lot, of, like eight. I think I have like uh, ten or fifteen eight terabyte drives. You know, yeah, between so what, the videos, videos, and is, uh, yeah. everything else. What What is your thoughts on? Um, would you rather have like uh, five two terabyte drives or one terabyte drive? What What kind of philosophy do you guys subscribe to especially especially with your songs for your dj side oh, i i have backups to everything so i have a minimum of two of two drives with the same data yeah, just in like case yeah it's funny you what's say your that. largest drive uh 16 terabytes is my largest rate and then i'm using as a raid array um, so actually, I have two 16, 16 terabyte drives in uh, a case that you know are mirrored. So if one fails, you know everything's backed up on the other one too. I literally have three drives sitting in front of me, all with the same stuff on it, like back yep. to back to back, like right here. So tons of drives. I'm so paranoid. Oh, you have an array. Got it. Yeah. Yep. So uh, well, then, at, at, um, at my your... at my house, I use I, I use what's called a NAS. Um, so it's a network storage array. Um, so it's plugged into my network here here at the house, and I have a web a web server that I can remote into to uh, upload from events or pull from if I'm at an event. I've actually had people where they've been at a previous event. And uh, I've pulled their picture from a previous event and printed it out for them. That previous event at another event. And they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> so awesome. it's kind of cool. That is really cool, actually. Yep. So um, and all your music is always on your hard drive on your computer or external? Both. Both. Both? Yep. Yep. Okay. Gotta have it all. So that I do. I I do an event. I do an event folder for. It stays on the laptop, and then I do that same event folder gets backed up to a uh, external drive. Then, uh, if anything happens, I can unplug the drive from my main computer and switch it over to uh, my backup laptop or you know whatever I'm using. And then you know I still have all those files for that event. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's probably the best way. Mm -hmm. cool. so, so where are you headed, Rex? Oh, to the studio, so I can record. Yeah. So you're, are you there I'll, now? I'll you later. I'll, I'll show you later. Are you Are you there now? I'm in the parking lot. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, dude, not sure. we we can see the studio from your videos, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Art, I'm gonna give you. I'll give you BTS. So, Art, you you just did an event with the Sketchpods recently. You did another video for. Yeah. Was that uh, for the? Uh, was that the one at the i i store, or was that? Uh, did yeah. you do another one? Yeah. So I, it was at a, an eyeglass shop for a customer appreciation day. So I, when I originally got them, I did them as a freebie. To get some exposure to some high-end like business owners, and it's 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 working. So I'm getting a call here for one. I did that last week, and then I've got um, another one coming up for Planned Parenthood. And then I've got uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing it at Citizens Bank Park uh, where the Philadelphia Phillies play. That's the one I just talked oh, about. Oh, that's nice. nice. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that one's for all. How, how did you tell us? How did you how did you dial that one in? I love it. Um, that is Alzheimer's Organization Association, their largest event that they do of the year. It's a walk, and they did sauce uh, at a previous event. 
and said we want it there at the, at the park. How did you get the gig? Through your agent? Yeah, through my agent. <laughs> this event that I did, they saw us at a previous nice. event. Nice. Yeah. Nice. But I did a little, a little promo video for it. Let me see if I can find it. Where did I put it? This one right here. Yeah, so just a little. That is cool. Yeah, that so what cool. I did was, I, I made that that quick video, and then I, I tagged the business on it too. So I'm taking it from a marketing standpoint because they're like, "How do we market?" I said, "Well, let's do a little video of this stuff in the shop, um, and tag also the, the local like, chamber of commerce that had us at the one event." Um, so it, it's nice. It, it went really well. I still need to work on the setup. It's not quite as pretty as I want it to be. I, I noticed on the sketch pads, it had your logo this printed on every page. Yeah, so for those types of events, I'll put my logo on there and a QR code to my website. So, and I have to, I'm tracking those QR. So you had the, the pads um, pre-printed? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll nice. Yeah. Uh, and I'm using the, the Max Design Curve Duo with it. So that Curve Duo has the sketchbot app on it and then i also put the curator uh i set up an event on curator so if they want to do a, a regular photo booth picture they can do that and i swipe it and go to a sketchbot all with one booth oh so you can just switch apps you switch yeah. in apps on the fly yeah and the lighting is all it's all the same it's all good yeah it's perfect nice but it's picking up um just like the audio guest book people are starting to get to know the sketch bots and I'm starting to get some more bookings out of it. It's an experience. I mean, we, when we were at PBX, it was in its infancy. And it's, I think it's still in, in its infancy. Um, but the, the new version is a lot better. There's a lot more detail in it. Uh, what is the late? Hey, show us, show us one of your sketches. I want to see a sketch now. Well, that, well, that one, I don't have it with me down here. I'll, I'll have to show it to you later. But in that okay. video, yeah. Um, I just sent you uh, a photo of the studio, if you can bring that up. Send it, yeah, send it over. I did. Uh, I texted to you. Oh, you can texted you get it, it off a text and let's see how, how oh, good on. is Ecamm Live. Yeah, let me see if I can do this. I'm cool like that. There we go. And let's go over here to this screen. Uh -huh. I'm learning. There it is. Oh, there you go. Rex's oh, studio. That's nice and clean. I like it. Thank you. Yeah. So, so, you so up next, DMP, WCM Plus. That's beautiful. So you write this out just for Thank this? You. Yeah. And, and for events and meetups and, um, yeah, but mostly so, you know, I can't. I can no longer record in the home office because I have kids there and at any time they can blurt. They're, they have their headsets on while playing like Valor or something. And every once in a while they'll forget and start blurting out stuff out loud. So, yeah. So, so I, I now have the studio. I can meet clients. Uh, I can right. test product. I can record videos, uh, do uh, workshops. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's just... I'm just happy to have it. So Rex, didn't you just yes. recently post about a meetup or something or, um, yeah, like thank a, you for bringing that up. Yeah. So, um, I'm doing, so back in August we did, uh, we did North Los Angeles cause Los Angeles County is, is just huge. And predominantly we are doing in South Los Angeles. But even then, that was like an hour and a half drive for some people. That's how big LA County is. And so we did our first North Los Angeles meetup. And uh, we had Brandon from Photo Booth Supply Co. as the 
uh, guest speaker, and that was a, a fantastic turnout. And he brought out the guac. And so uh, in honor of him coming out, we had guac and chips uh, for dinner, which was freaking awesome. And, uh, you know, the response was excellent. So that leads into uh, our next event, which is called uh, Buy, Sell, Trade. So we notice a, a lot of people always posting online, hey, I have this printer I'm no longer using or these backdrops that I use once for a client. I want to sell it. And now we're going back to a warehouse and um, you can bring your gear to sell if you if nobody wants to buy it or you can you can trade with somebody because it's air conditioned inside. It has a clean bathroom. You get food and you can actually uh, use the electrical. You can plug in a printer to make sure it works or plug in a photo booth. So that's mm -hmm. going to be our next event It's going to buy, sell, trade on October 8th. I'm sure, I'm sure both of you have a bunch of gear that that you are not using that you want to sell. And that's pretty much what this event is for. So, um, so come on out. Yeah. Fly out and sell and your gear. Where, where, where is it going to be? Uh, it's going to be in the city of Carson, which is uh, like near SoFi Stadium. That's probably one of the largest. Okay. Uh, uh, landmarks. So South Los Angeles. Yeah, it's right here. I brought, the, I brought the site up. So, and I'll make sure that I put this link um, in the video. As well. This first phase at the time. Cool. And people can sell general mission, early birds, all kinds of stuff at this event. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be great mm -hmm. if you can pin it. Um, I want to thank everybody that came out. So I'm gonna. Send you some photos. There you go. Do you get those? You can yep. share those. Let's see right here. There it is. There you go. That's a lot of people, Rex. Oh, there's the guacan chips. Yeah, they do. Yeah. No, we really had guacan chips. I think that's the most guacamole I've ever seen in my life in one bowl. <laughs> yeah. Did you get the last picture? Yeah, let me get that one. Hold on. Where's it at? It's coming. Art's getting good at this. I'm better. I learned. Dave's been teaching me. Look at that. He could pull up pictures on the fly. I love it. Is that fresh cilantro? Fresh everything. We had we had a taco bar. Oh my God! That so, great. I know, it was huge. It was huge. So shout out to North North Los Angeles. They they really, you know. But North Los Angeles includes like Calabasas and and Santa Clarita, where like Magic Mountain is, and where Kim Kardashian lives, Malibu. That's that's North Los Angeles. You know, it goes all the way up to Ventura County almost. So Ventura County is beautiful. Yeah, there's, it's it's a lot of photo boothers in Los Angeles. And, and it goes back to what Dave was saying earlier is everybody came without any any attitudes. It was all, you know, community over a competition. Yeah, we're all each other's competitors, but I, I was trying to do a raffle. I was trying to give stuff away and they just would not shut up. They just kept going on and on. And you know it's all about that network, and it, it was just fantastic. So, so now I have to do it again, and we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do buy, sell, trade, and we can talk. Uh, we can talk shop. We can talk uh, VW buses. We can talk uh, enclosed booths, uh, backdrops you're not using, feather boas, um, featherless boas. Sharing so without internet. It's gonna be a great event. Thanks, yeah, sharing, sharing without the internet. Yeah, that's, that's huge right now because that Twilio is, is screwing up a lot of people. So shout out to Shane. I think you had Shane on the show. That that yeah. oh mm -hmm. that guy's genius when it comes to Twilio. Yeah, he's you know, only charged, he can look at charged, something. He charged like what one fifty to to go and do this. Um, that's a great price to just have somebody. Yeah, go in I mean, I only effective. I paid once, and now I don't have to worry about it forever. Uh, I, I ask him questions all the time. Now I don't feel so bad. And he, you know, he's, he just responds and just, I don't know. I, I see so many posts about that and I want to help people, but Twilio's like on another level. 
totally on another level. They got menus with sub menus with settings and you know, even right. I got tripped up. So shout out to Shane. We got to have him back on the show with the, yeah. the Twilio episode art next week featuring uh, everybody tune in next week for Shane and the Twilio episode. Yeah. Not only the, not only the Twilio, but he's got, he's got a lot of information. I talked with him at the, the DD expo about um, his employee levels of hiring and, uh, and payment, right? So how he pays them and yeah. incentivizes them. So I want to talk about that too. So, Shane, if you're he also watching. has one of the cleanest wiring setups inside the uh, the Danny Max. The cur- oh god, man, it's clean, <laughs> clean. Like some people don't even care, but it's so well organized. Yeah, so good for him. Yeah, it's perfect. So, but yeah, yeah, he 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 has an amazing product, you know, because he builds he builds the the uh, Danny Max booths. You know, he'll fit it out with everything you need. So you could buy everything right from him, you know, and be able to plug it in and, and you know, do an event as soon as you receive it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He sells turnkey booths. That's what it's called. So he yep. sells everything with all the – he's already tested every camera possible, every computer combination, every single wire you can buy off Amazon and said, hey, this is the yep. one we use. We have – I think he has like 25 booths or something that he runs in his own business. So yeah, they, they definitely know what works. So if you, if you want a turnkey, right. People ask what, what wide label is turn turnkey is when you, when you buy a booth and it comes complete and uh, in the industry, most people are selling just a shell and you have to go buy the internals, which is the computer, the camera, the cables, the flash. This way you buy something from him. It comes turnkey. You just turn it on and it's ready to go. Even even the software, even the software. I think he's a darkroom genius as well. Uh, well he he know, even loads the first event for the client if they want. With the oh, nice. stuff ready to go. Spoiled. Spoiled, man. Right? <laughs> so, but yeah, I think I think another topic we I, we got to cover, Dave, um, the sharing without internet because there's a lot of these farm or in the middle of nowhere venues where well listen that that's that's what i use for a lot of my events for my 360 and my booth with the qr sharing you know and and it it works fantastic yeah let's let's work on that as as a topic for an upcoming show i think that's something that's very important that a lot of people are well so i'll have to hit that you got to bring those guys on you got to think like bleep share i think they were one of the first to do it media share Mm -hmm. Uh, i think even um what do you call it uh shay remember shay we need to get shay on the show from from pick pick social right got a qr code uh luma booth was one of the first um to integrate it into their system so that was really they have like you you um Scan the QR code and it takes you to an individual link, not to the entire gallery. And that was huge right. for privacy. Uh, I think Snappick has it. Curator, right? Curator sponsored the show. We got to get him on. That's got to be the, well, the the QR code or the sharing without the internet episode. Yeah, I think so too. And the curator's That's, got. Some I think you guys stuff. consider that a category in itself. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, like I, I kind of group like email and SMS together, but I think uh, offline sharing or sharing without the internet's own category. Yeah, we need to hit that. Cool. Well, Rex, thank you for coming on the show. I know you're gonna get to the studio. We we were dying for you to get to work on the WCM Plus. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. Here. Have Have you seen it? I've only seen the pictures, man. Apparently, you're the only one in the world. Yeah, the person. Some of us aren't privy to uh, to uh, new technology, you know, as it comes out. But yeah. uh, shout, shout out you know. to Ed Nelson. Just remember, no, no one knows who he is, but yeah, you, you know, you know, you know the right people. Thank you, Suzanne. I appreciate you. I got to do my shout outs real quick. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get in that studio, and uh, I'm gonna hopefully knock it out tonight. I'm gonna record, edit, and and post. So can't wait, Greg. Uh, we'll see. I don't. I don't know. I think it'll be good. I think it's gonna be very good. Um, so cool. Yeah. 
so thanks for having me on. It was a pleasure, guys. And uh, I'll report back. And um, I, I'm curious to see who you're going to have on next week. All right? you, got, you got a whole load of topics there. Let's, let's tease it. Who do you think it's going to be? And and look, we're we're always looking for other topics too. So if anybody has any ideas of something you'd like to hear or see, you know, please reach out to us. Let us know. Um, and if anybody's out there that would like to be a guest, you know, we're always looking for regular boothers also, as well as you know, new new boothers. I actually that's what I'd like to get is is us have you know kind of like a a new boother. Uh, you know, consultation kind of thing. Oh my God, I got one. You know, <laughs> I got a few of those. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, is is Euro PBX this week? Next week? It's next the next week. It starts on the eighteenth. Let's let's yep. find somebody that's going so we can do a live feed. To the yeah. UK. What time is it over there right now? It's like I don't know. I think I, I think they're five hours. They're five hours ahead of us. I think. So one a.m. So they'll be nice and drunk as a skunk by the time they get on the show. <laughs> or as they say, the Yeah. So cool. that that might be another possibility. I like the the Euro PBX episode. Euro yeah. PBX. Or the Twilio, or the sharing about the without the internet. Yeah, any, any one of those would be awesome. Put, All right, put a poll, put a poll down there, and see what people vote for. All right, we'll, we'll put it on the Footloose Network. No, oh, there you go. That's perfect. Yeah, cool. All, All right, right, guys, thank, thank you, you so guys. much, and I am out. Peace out. Sounds good. Be safe, Rex. We'll see you. Thank you. Take care. Bye, Rex. All right, folks. Dave, that's it. Let's close it out for this week. We're gonna we gotta get to work and see what the hell's gonna happen next week. That's right. So I'm I'm gonna reach out to a few people, and uh, I think maybe the the topic of the uh, the wireless sharing. Yeah. I think uh, that might be a good one. So I'll I'll work on that one. That one and then uh, Shane and Twilio and all the other stuff. Yep. I'll work on him. We'll we'll figure it out, and then somebody's gonna talk to somebody in Europe and see if we can get them on. Yep. We'll see. Maybe uh, maybe we can get uh, Rob to uh, come on and tell us a little bit about it. Oh, yeah. That's not a bad idea. All right. Well, very good. That's a wrap, Dave. Um, that's oh, it. What, hey, what episode number is this, Art? Do you know? 40. 40. Wow. That's almost my IQ. <laughs> You're much smarter. I'll see you, brother. At least you have a great night. Me too. Bye, guys. See ya. See ya. Bye.